Hello, Lower friends on Twitter, aka X. I was posting last week about different ways to resolve dependencies from the service container in Lava. You had a lot of thoughts and questions about that, so yeah, here I am. Let's check them out together right here, right now. When you want to work with dependencies in Laravel, you have a couple of options. So like here in this controller, for example, if we need a service to update our podcast, I can just create a constructor. And in the constructor, I'm going to say that I like to get in here a private publish podcast action. Let's call this action. And then inside here, I could just run this action handle and here I need to provide the podcast. All right, this is one way to do this by using constructor injection, bringing the dependency in through the constructor. But in Laravel, something else that we can do is we can also use method injection. So let's get rid of the constructor here. And I can also say what I'm expecting here is also a publish podcast action. And then here we're just going to change this to action. And this will work the same. So this is not a way method injection which works in Laravel. In many Laravel classes like controllers, um, routes, events, jobs, and so on. So not everywhere, but um, a lot of places where you can use this as well, which again is also pretty handy because we can get rid of the constructor and we immediately see here, by the way, the same thing happens here with route model binding here, we get a podcast and we get our action here. But something else, which we can also do, of course, is we can use helper or facade to do this. So here's another one, which is called resolve. And let's ask now the service container directly to resolve us a specific dependency. And what we get back, we're going to call the handle method with the podcast on it. And this works as well. And I think this is also a very clean solution here. So what is this resolve helper now? And there are similar ones, which I like to show you as well. So we're going to start here by using our app facade, which we have in level. It's this one here. And we have a make method. So we are going to tell our application, our service container, please make us a new dependency, a new instance of the weather service, which we have here. Give me the weather. Let's just dump this out here just so we can see this is working. And you can see we get here a new instance of weather service. So this is working. So this is one way to do this. One interesting thing here is when we take a look at the weather service, is that actually the weather service needs an API key to work. But we didn't set any API key here. So this is now being done already for us in our app service provider, where we're going to say whenever someone asks for a weather service um, from the service container, we're going to return a specific instance, the weather service, but we're already providing the API key here. And that's why you've also seen here, if we dump out the instance again, this already has an API key set. So this is pretty useful because we don't want every time we want to use our weather service, we don't want to inject it and then set the API key again. So this is why we're going to bind the a specific instance of the weather service with a specific API key already through a service container. So that's also why using the service container is so powerful. So next to this method here, what we can also use is a global helper called app. Maybe let me just show you if we just provide here the helper function for app, you can see we get a new application instance back. But on this instance, we also have now a make method and we can do exactly the same. Give me the weather service and this will work as well. So if we take a look at this make method here, this is part of the Illuminate Foundation application, which is exactly the same, which is going to be called if we were using our facade again. App make. You can see this is the exact same method which we're going to use. So, but next to those two methods, we also got two more. So what else do we have? We also can do this here. So instead of calling the make method on the application instance, we're just using the global app function here to provide our service directly that we need is the weather service. And of course we get this back as well. And if we take a look at this function here, you can see we're checking if the abstract is null, then we're just going to provide an instance of the container. But if it's not null, then we're going to call this make method here. And this is now very similar to the one we've seen before. Let me just go back here because here 
um, this make method, which we've seen before in Illuminate Foundation application, we're calling the make method inside a Illuminate container container, which is now the exact same thing we're getting if we call this make method. We're still here. And at the end, we're always going to use this resolve method from the container. Okay, back and I got one more which we can use, which is called resolve, which I've shown you before. This um, result again is exactly the same. If we take a look, this function is just a wrapper around the app helper function, which we've just seen before. So this is also pretty much the same, just a different taste. So yeah, I myself really like the resolve name here because we are going to resolve something from the service container, which I really like. So this is this is actually the way that I like the most. But as you've seen, we have a couple options here for you to use. Also interesting here, um, we don't see this here because if we go back to our app make method here, you can see that here also the dark block is showing that this can throw a binding res resolution exception. So if we try to get anything here, which is not inside the service container and which is not instantiable, like just this string here, you can see we get a binding resolution exception. And yeah, um, when we use app make, our ADE can tell us this because we are mentioning this here. The same goes for the facade. Um, yeah, same here because it goes to the same method, but it isn't the same for the other helpers here because these are using, um, are using this helper here and you can see here this doesn't throw an exception. So this means your IDE might not detect this and maybe can tell you about this. So this is kind of the only real difference which we have here with all those different ways of resolving a service from the container. But as always Laravel provides a couple of options for you to pick what fits your needs and your style the best. So yeah, let me know which you like the most, but I'm a big fan of using the resolve helper here. There are different ways and approaches to work with dependencies and the service container and level. These shown helpers are just some of them. As always, pick what fits best you and your application. Have fun. Bye.